Our public transit, trans, transit system, especially our subway system, is the lifeblood of our city. I said it over and over again. And New Yorkers are safe on our subway system. I'm down there talking to the passengers, communicating with them. And many of them keep saying over and over again as we move through the subway system, they say to me, Eric, can people stop saying we're unsafe down here? It's the best subway system on the globe, and we're the safest on the globe. What? Vassar discovery on the subway tracks in the Bronx, a human leg. It was found yesterday afternoon along the northbound four line between 167th and 170th streets. Investigators are now trying to figure out whose leg it is and how it got there. And now an update on the attack of a subway musician hit in the head with a bottle. Police say that they've made an arrest in this case. This assault was caught on camera, you may recall, about two weeks ago at the 34th Street Herald Square station. At least two more attacks in the transit system today, one of them sending a man to the hospital. It comes, as Mayor Adams says, riders should expect more random bag checks. This morning, harrowing cell phone video capturing rush hour mayhem as gunfire rang out in the New York City subway. <laughs> Terrified passengers ducking for cover Thursday evening, huddled together, screaming in horror in this crowded downtown Brooklyn station. Close the door, close the door. Close the door. As I'm coming out, you hear, you hear pops, like, like three or four shots, pop, pop, pop. Then the doors open, everybody come flying out. Police say chaos erupted around 5 p.m. after a fight on a train car. Passengers seen here trying to break up the situation, but the altercation only escalating. Stitches now line the neck of 59-year-old Alton Scott, who spent nearly 25 years of his life as a conductor on these rails. When I saw the pictures this morning, my heart dropped. I, I felt tears in my eye automatically because of looking at I, ha, about a, a split half an inch would have cut a vein in his neck and he was dead. But thankfully, he's not. After around 3.30 early Thursday morning, a random attacker slashed him in the neck when he leaned his head out of the southbound A train window at the Rockaway Avenue station. This rash of stabbings and slashings over the weekend, including one death, has riders we spoke with all day on edge. And now a serial slasher is targeting women riders, and that's putting many females at risk and thinking twice before they take the train. NYPD officers were stationed along the 86th Street and Lexington Avenue subway platform after violent sneak attacks on two women about 6.30 Sunday evening. Police believe this man approached a 19-year-old woman from behind and slashed her in the back of her leg. He also allegedly slashed a 48-year-old woman in her leg. I go to work. I come home. I don't go anywhere at night on the subway. It didn't stop there. Police believe he took the train to the City Hall Brooklyn Bridge station and attacked a 28-year-old woman, slashing her leg. The stress from constant safety worries made this subway rider emotional. The sad thing about it is that when you do try to take the train, there's nobody there that's going to help you if something happens to you, so I'd rather take the bus. A shocker on the subway, a group of people attacked by a stranger with fire. My police are looking for that man you just saw holding two cans of fire on the subway platform. They say he lit the flammable liquid and then threw the cans at a group of strangers. The attack happened at the 28th Street stop in Chelsea along the one line, and police say that group was just standing on the platform when two flaming cans came flying their way. This is the girl police are looking for. Investigators say she attacked the mother of three and the person who shot this video. As Joanna was taking this video, one of the girls who police are now looking for, she assaulted her three separate times. Started over, took me by the hair, threw me on the ground and started punching me. Sue stood up, says one girl got in her face. I pushed her out of my face. That's when the, the, the girl that had attacked um, Joanna started attacking me. We're seeing new video of a man accused of trying to rape two women on the subway in two boroughs. The man is accused of grabbing a 36-year-old woman while she was trying to transfer to a three train at West 72nd Street Saturday in Manhattan. Police say that he dragged her to the end of the platform and tried to rape her. She got away after scratching him across the face. And then less than two hours later, police say that same man also tried to rape a woman after punching her on an F train in Brooklyn, a conductor Doctor stopped the attack, but the suspect got away. More violence on the subway. Police say a woman was nearly raped on a four train. This is in Lower Manhattan. 
Police need your help finding the suspect in this case. Investigators say the vicious attack happened just before 1130 at night last Thursday as the train was heading into the Bowling Green station. Police say the man sat next to the woman, took off his pants and underwear and laid on top of the woman trying to pull her skirt down. She was able to get away. Police say the man left the train and got on a ferry to Staten Island. I screamed, help, help, she says. In that darkest moment when Jamalith feared she would be raped, a security guard came and saved her. Police releasing this video of the man they are now trying to find. They say to me, Eric, can people stop saying we unsafe down here? It's the best subway system on the globe and we're the safest on the globe. A group of people attacked by a stranger with fire.